Hello folks, this is Audio Bird. We're going to show you today how you can build another pipe speaker using PVC pipe. This particular model is different from the one that you saw in my first video because this one uses both a woofer and a tweeter in a somewhat different configuration. You notice that it's got a T-pipe in the center of it here and it has uh, goes up to the top here. We got a cap on the top and we go all the way down to the bottom of the speaker where we have our base and our connections. It's a lot different than the one that we built before. And the reason for this is we have a larger diameter speaker this time. And this speaker produces a lot more bass. Consequently, we need to increase the volume of the, of the pipe in order to uh, reproduce the bass properly. And this, this is about 60 inches tall and the speaker is located roughly one-third the distance down from the total of 60 inch length of the pipe. And that helps us to cancel some of the harmonics that are produced in the pipe, along, of course, with the stuffing that we're going to add later on. So, if you uh, continue to watch, you'll see how we take all of the components, put them together, and build this neat little set of stereo pipe speakers. Okay, folks. Here are the components we're going to need to build our latest version of a pipe speaker. The first thing is going to be a 38-inch length of 4 inch inside diameter PVC tubing. And here I've already cut a piece 38 inches long. And I've also cut into the base of it three equally spaced 2 by 2 inch ports. Now if you saw my first video on constructing pipe speakers, I give you an, uh, an indication in that how you cut these ports. The other component we're going to need is a pipe cap. And I have one right here. Uh, this fits over the end of the pipe. This happens to be one that I've painted black. Fits over the end of a 4-inch pipe. You need a 4-inch pipe cap. And you need another 15-inch length of 4-inch inside diameter PVC pipe. And I've already got that cut off here. Then you're going to need a T-pipe. And a T-pipe allows you to, uh, to join the two pieces of pipe together along with mounting the speaker on the, uh, the outer edge here. In order to mount the speaker, you're going to need this ring of three-quarter inch plywood that I have cut out. The inside diameter is four and fifteen sixteenths. That's important. Four and fifteen sixteenths diameter on the inside. The outside is about eight inches. You're also going to need a speaker. This particular speaker is from Dayton Audio. It's the ND140-8. It's a very nice 5-inch speaker with a neodymium magnet, can handle a lot of power, and it, it, it has an excellent bass response to it. We also have a half-inch diameter tweeter, dome tweeter here, again from Dayton Audio. This is a Goldwood tweeter that we're going to use. And next to the tweeter you see two banana plug jacks that we're going to install on the base of the main 38-inch uh, tube in order to bring our leads in. We also need a crossover capacitor, and we have a 4 microfarad crossover capacitor here. The other major component we're going to need is the base that's used to assemble uh, the entire speaker. And here we have our base and this is a three to four inch, it's called, closet flange. And uh, it's mounted on a 12 inch diameter piece of three quarter inch plywood that serves as the base. And uh, the pipe just snaps right into that when you uh, do the assembly, which I'll show you in the next uh, few sections of the video. So let's get busy and let's build our, our pipe speaker and, and see how it comes out. We're going to now assemble our speaker and I want to show you this uh, pipe jig that I built. It's actually a couple of pieces of pine nailed to a, a 1x4 and uh, there's three of them down here. Uh, three that you can use to uh, lay your pipe in. If you're going to do any pipe speaker building at all, I suggest that you build you one of these. You can clamp it right to your table. makes it a lot easier to uh, when you're doing your assembly on these pipes. Now we're going to get started with our 38 inch PVC pipe. Put it in our cradle. I'm going to show you what I've done here. I've cut the uh, 2 by 2 inch ports equally equidistant around the pipe. Uh, in my last video, in the first video, if you look that up, you'll see how to do these. I've also installed the banana plugs here. And if you can get a look down inside, maybe on this side you can see We've got the wiring installed and I run the wiring up to the tube. So we're now ready to assemble the first part of our speaker. All right, the first assembly is going to be the tube into the base. Remember our base is constructed out of a three to, three to four inch uh, 
closet flange that you can buy at your local home center, and a 12 inch diameter piece of half inch plywood that uh, it's mounted upon. And what you do, you pick up your pipe very easily. You want it the port side down, obviously. You place it over the closet flange and do that. And that's all there is to it. You've got the base already assembled. The next step is to stuff the base with some polyester stuffing. And uh, the polyester uh, is, is the pillow type stuffing that you can get from your, your local uh, Walmart or your local craft store. You're going to put about four ounces of this stuffing into the pipe. And we're going to show you how to do that in just a second. All right, now we're going to stuff our pipe. We're going to use that polyester material I was talking about. Now what you want to do is when you get it, you want to tease it out a little bit, kind of separate it, get the clumps out of it. You don't want it to be really lumpy. Uh, make sure you reach down inside the pipe and get your wires out because you want them over the edge here. You don't want them to get stuck down into the pipe along with your uh, stuffing. So just take the material and just stuff it gently down into the pipe like that. Just kind of let it fall down in there. I've made a, a little pipe stuffing stick. Took a piece of uh, three-quarter inch material and uh, put a little plastic. Uh, just like you're, you're loading a cannon here. You just kind of stuff it down. Add some more as you go along. Now you don't want to tamp it down real hard. You want it to be kind of lightly uh, included inside the, or packed inside of the uh, tube. They're coming along there very nicely. And that should be about enough. You'll see it just a little bit out of the top. You know that you're, you're there on this side. Now we're also going to do the same thing to the other assemblies we're going to, to use. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put our T-pipe. Remember our T-pipe? Well this is going to go on. Now this will be uh, go on in this fashion on the pipe. You want this curve facing up and forward and you want it directly opposite the uh, jacks on the bottom. In other words, the jacks are the back, this is in the front. So what we'll do, we'll take our wires, feed them through the T-pipe We'll do the same thing we did on the base. Put it over, again, keeping it centered on the base, and then very easily just do that. Now, there are some people, when you build these permanently, you may want to cement them up with some PVC cement. And once you do that, of course, they'll never come apart. I did, it, uh, I did not use cement because I was going to take them apart to show you how to build it. Okay, in the next step, we're going to add the other components, and then we'll put the speaker in. Okay, our next step is going to be take our 15 inch piece of PVC pipe. We're going to install this on the top. First thing I want to do though, I want to take the pipe cap and I'm going to put it on first. Again, you do the same thing with these things, just slam it together. It'll be, be on there good and tight. Then we want to stuff it the same way we did the uh, main pipe. Take the rest of your stuffing that you've got left over and stuff it down into the top of the pipe. Now we want to save just a little dab of it to go behind the speaker after we install the speaker. So I've saved some here over on the bench that we can use later on. Again, assembling this is easy. Make sure you, your wires are not in the way. Pull them out the front. Put your 15 inch pipe in and do the same, give it the same treatment. You gave the other one, just stuff it down in there real tight. And whoops, we've got some stuffing coming out here, don't we? Well, we'll just pull that out of the way there. And now we're ready. Now we're going to install the speaker. In order to do that, we have to first install our baffle plate. Now remember I showed you this, uh, I think, in the, in the first part of the video. This is made out of a piece of three-quarter inch MFD, or you can use plywood. Uh, it's uh, roughly uh, eight inches in diameter here, but this, this diameter here is four and fifteen sixteenths. Now that's very important. If you don't get that accurate, uh, you know, it's not going to fit very tight on the pipe. Now we also cut out a little two-inch radius circle up here at the top we're, that's going to serve as the compartment for the tweeter. Now I already have my wires run through here so we're going to settle this right down on the pipe. Now I have taken a little bit of masking tape in this case on this pipe and put a little strip of it around the top because when I cut this out it's a little bit too big but when you do that it's, this snugs down on there very nicely like this. You go right down get it even with the top edge of the pipe like that. Now I have pre-drilled some holes in here into the uh, pipe. You want to do that on the PVC. If you're going to put screws in PVC, always pre-drill a hole because it can be very hard to try to get a screw just to uh, self-tap into it. 
Once you do that, you get a very solid uh, connection. Now we're going to hold that in place with three of these uh, half inch by number two sheet metal screws uh, to uh, steady that, that baffle, keep it good and tight. And we'll go ahead and install these. And then we'll come back later on and show you how they all look. All right, I've got the screws put in to the baffle board and the uh, pipe edge here. You can see one here, here, and here, and there'll be another one here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is to install the tweeter. But before we do that, you have to drill a hole, a quarter inch hole, just behind where the tweeter mounts. <clears throat> drill it right down into the pipe, and that's where our wiring is going to run for the tweeter. And we'll install the tweeter first before we install the woofer. Okay, folks, uh, I've soldered our tweeter wires on. We got a two different colors. I got purple for positive and gray for negative. You want to make sure you keep your positive and your negatives the same as they match up with your uh, banana plugs at the bottom. I've already fed the wires through the hole we drilled in there. Now we're just going to take them and mount them right on the baffle plate itself with a couple of uh, small sheet metal screws. Now this is uh, may not look as aesthetically pleasing as you'd like, but it kind of ties in with the industrial look of the pipe, I think. Uh, you've got your tweeter. It doesn't have to be housed in anything. It does not require a baffle, yeah, unlike the woofer. And it looks pretty good, I think, once we get it, uh, we get it settled down in here. Now, in series with the positive lead, I've soldered and used a piece of heat shrink tubing to tie together the 4 microfarad crossover capacitor, which will be tied to the positive side of the woofer. And we'll do that in our next step. Before we mount our woofer, we're going to take some of this quarter inch foam gasket material that you can buy for putting around your doors and windows. And we're going to install a strip of it around the very edge of the pipe and the baffle here, just like this. Just go right around. It's self-stick. And that'll assure us of a good tight air seal when we screw the woofer down onto the baffle plate. Um, it's easy to remove, too, if you have to do some maintenance. You can always install a new piece of it. So we've got that ready to go. Next step, we're going to install the woofer into the baffle. All right, I have got the speaker soldered in now. I got the positive lead from the tweeter tied in on the other side of the capacitor here, the positive lead from the uh, banana plug here, and the two gray leads are your negative leads here. Now I've got a piece of double-sided tape here. <clears throat> I stuck this uh, capacitor on the tape. You don't want that flopping around inside the uh, enclosure. Uh, that works out pretty good. If you've got a glue gun, you can do it, use a little bit of that glue uh, to settle it down. Now, the last thing we want to do, remember that leftover material we had? We want to stuff that down behind the speaker, tease it out pretty good, like this. I'm going to put that down behind the speaker. It kind of helps absorb some of the back wave here, plus it keeps the wires in better placement. Now we're ready to install it. Take care with your wire when you do that. Remember, we've got our gasket material around here, so what we want to do is kind of snug it down on the gasket material. Now, this is easy for me. I pre-drilled the holes, of course, so it's easier to install it. What you want to do is, once you get it snug down, you want to pre-drill the holes a little bit. I use a sixteenth of an inch drill with these screws, and then we'll mount our speaker. You want to do it concentrically. You want to do one side and then the opposite side. And don't take them down all at one time. Take them down just a little bit so that you can get things centered up. It gives you a little freedom to move, to move it around a little bit. Now this particular speaker, it has an aluminum cone. The cone is made out of aluminum. It's not paper. But be very careful when you're installing the screws that your screwdriver doesn't slip off and go through the uh, aluminum cone. Now a paper cone, you can usually repair that, but the aluminum cones are more difficult to repair if you poke a hole in them. And it can be an expensive uh, mistake. 
Another thing we're not going to do today, we're not going to show you how these speakers sound. I've seen a lot of these YouTube movies where people will set up their speakers and they want you to see how they sound, and there's absolutely no way that they can show you how they sound because uh, you're picking up the ambience of their room, uh, the poor quality possibly of the recording device, the cor camcorder they're using, and so forth. So you do not get an idea of how good the speakers sound by listening to them over YouTube. However, I would not build a project, and as I said, I built this project earlier and then disassembled it. I wanted to do the testing first to make sure it does work. I wouldn't put one of these on, online if it didn't sound good. So take my word for it. Build yourself one. Uh, experiment with it. You can, you can build other types using different size speakers as you get more accustomed to doing this. We may have some more movies for you down the road uh, showing some different styles. So there's our speaker. I will set it up next to the other one, give you a view of that. And uh, as I say, we're not going to hear what they sound like, though. We want to thank you for watching Pipe Speakers 2, and we hope you had a worthwhile learning experience. Now, if you haven't watched Pipe Speakers 1, look for it on YouTube, because it'll give you some uh, hints and kinks uh, that'll help you when you build this one. This is Audio Bird, and I want to thank you again for watching, and keep tuned. We'll have some more speaker projects for you uh, as the months go by. And remember, keep listening to the music, because you never know when it's going to end.